So one of the most common animations that people want to make when working in SketchUp is animating doors opening and closing. I'm going to show you the way to do that using a free extension. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you're going to want to make sure you install Animator from Fredo 6 as well as LibFredo from Fredo 6. I will link to both of these in the notes down below. They were a free download. And so what we want to do is we want to open up Fredo 6 Animator and we want to open the clip editor. That's gonna be where we can edit our different clips inside of our scene. And we wanna add a simple animation to this door, right? So this door has been modeled with a frame. It's been modeled with each door, as well as each door being a separate object. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna add a movement right here. That's gonna allow us to rotate our door. And so we wanna select the rotation option right here. And so in this case, what we wanna do is we wanna select our door body right here. And so what this is gonna do is this is gonna let us set a pivot point. Well, we just wanna set our pivot point for the corner of the door. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that right here. I know there's a gap in here with this door from the 3D warehouse. That's okay for what we're trying to do right now. But we wanna set a base point at basically the rotation point of our door. Then we wanna move our mouse over here. And so we'll go ahead and click a point right here. And then we're gonna set this to 90 degrees. So you can type in a value of 90 and hit the enter key. What we've done is we've created an animation of our door opening. So if I was to drag this to the right and then click the play button, you can see how our door is going to open. You can adjust the speed of this by adjusting the value right here. If you want it to be longer, or if you want this to open slower, you can make this a larger value. If you want it to open faster, then you can make it a smaller value like this. So now we want to click on the save the sequence button. And what this has done is this has created this as an animation sequence inside of the timeline. Now if I click on the play button right here, this door is going to open. This is the simplest way to create a door opening animation. All right, so next up, we're going to animate our camera as well as exporting our video. However, before we do that, I did want to note that I'm going to link to a playlist down below where I teach you how to create 10 kinds of videos in SketchUp. So um, these are going to use both native tools as well as animator in order to do different things like uh, moving objects like forklifts, sliding doors, um, lots of different kinds of animations. So you can check that playlist out in the notes down below. I will also link to those example files, which you can download by going to the sketchupessentials.com slash animation. Now, let's go ahead and set up our camera. So one other thing, let's say that we wanted our camera to move around, just so this is a little bit more interesting. Um, what we could do is we could insert a camera. Uh, we want to make sure that our timeline is at zero. And we're just going to insert a camera right here. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to click on the Capture Current View Camera. What that's going to do is that's going to capture a camera at one second. All right, and so now let's add a second camera. So we're just going to rotate over here. And then click on the button right here to insert a camera. Make sure you've got your timeline set at one second. So we're gonna click right here, click on new camera. And we're gonna rotate over and we're gonna click on capture current view camera and click on the checkbox. So now we've got a door movement right here and we've got a camera transition right here. So if I was to click play, notice how my camera is gonna transition over just like this. And so what I wanna do is I wanna make this a little bit longer so I'm just going to make the duration of my rotation longer. So maybe like three seconds. And then I'm gonna set the second camera start point at three seconds. So now what this is gonna do is if I click on play, this is going to animate my door opening and my camera moving just like this. So now we wanna export this to a clip. And so to do that, we're gonna to go to the generate a video button right here. And so that's gonna open up this window right here. And so what we wanna do is we wanna export a video. The first thing we're gonna to have to do is download FFmpeg. And so if you click on this button right here, you'll get instructions on how to download FFmpeg. So this is basically something that stitches images together into a video. So all you have to do is just download the file, extract it, and then locate it with animator. I will link to a video showing you exactly how to do this in the notes down below. But once you install FFmpeg, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a list of different formats. So we're just gonna call this door opening. Um, your frame rate is gonna set the number of frames that are created um, in order to make up this video. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We'll leave our speed as is. And then you can click on this button right here to test 
your image. So what that's going to do is that's going to show you the size of the animation that's going to be created. So I'm good with all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the button for generate video. So when I do that, that's going to go through and it's going to create all of the clips for my animation. And then it's going to stitch them together in a video. So we'll come back in just a second and look at our final result. All right, so if we play our completed video file, it's going to look like this. So you can see how your camera movement is animated as well as your door opening. And then from there you can build on top of that to really create whatever kinds of animations you want inside of SketchUp. Alright, so if you want to create more animations in SketchUp, I'm going to link to a playlist on this page for my 10 kinds of animation series. That series is going to have 10 different kinds of videos that you can create using both native tools and animator, as well as I'm going to link to the example files that you can download. So I've got these set up where you can actually download the example files from the videos to follow along. So I've got everything in the entire series from fly through animations to tracking things with your cameras, other things like that. So if you want to download those, follow along and learn how to create a bunch of different kinds of animations, I will link to those on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.